about models for the show all year long. I go through two show seasons in between Victoria's Secret fashion shows in, in New York, London, Milan, and Paris. So kind of all year long, I'm thinking about who looks right or who maybe is right or going to be right for Victoria's Secret in November. You know, every year we do kind of a new girls section, which is the pink section. Every year there are girls that were pink girls the year before that become BS girls the next year. We always start the casting process looking at the casting from the year before to see who translates into this year's, who's going to carry through into this year's casting. We saw, I would say, 250 girls live in the flesh at this casting this year. Before that, you know, we edited down from several hundred cards. The 200 girls that we saw in the casting were really probably for 12 to 15 open spots. So it's really kind of cutthroat. I mean, when I look at a model, I'm looking at them for their physicality, obviously, but they also kind of need to engage me and interest me as a person because I see thousands, literally, of models every year. There should be something interesting there and something that captures your attention outside of their physical beauty. That separates them in a way. Hi, my name is John Pfeiffer and you're watching Modeling Young. Yeah.